Well, it was a thrilling finish to the 124th U.S. Open as Bryson DeChambeau edged Rory McIlroy to win his second U.S. Open. And I previewed the tournament with my guy Curran Bhatia last week, and now he's going to return to recap the 2024 U.S. Open. And here is Curran Bhatia. Curran, how's it going, man? Dexter, I think this tournament lived up to everything we talked about, everything we hoped for, so I'm excited to chat with you about it. Yeah, it did. You know, before the end of this tournament, I was talking to my producer, Brian, and I was saying, look, I hope it's a situation where we at least get the top two golfers at the leaderboard within a shot of each other, and we got exactly that and more. And Curran, another incredible U.S. Open at Pinehurst. Let's start with the champion, Bryson DeChambeau, who had to par the 18th hole Appeared to be in trouble after his second shot on the last hole, but then he hit this incredible bunker shot to put himself in position to par the hole. He does that. What did you make about how he closed this tournament and how he played overall through the four days? The operative word there was try to, right? He needed to, to par that 18th hole. Bryson was able to do so, and that was just through will, determination, incredible performance from Bryson DeChambeau. I mean, it was he came into the day leading. We knew that there was going to be a lot of pressure with folks like Rory McIlroy and others trying to catch up. And I think this was a huge tournament for Bryson DeChambeau because not only does it give him his second major win overall, his second U.S. Open win overall, but this puts him into rarefied air, into great company. And he did it on Father's Day. And we know that there was an emotional component there because um, Bryson's father actually passed away a few years ago. So this was in, me in memory of him. And this was the 25th anniversary of Payne Stewart winning at Pinehurst. And that is uh, Bryson actually went to the same college, SMU. Uh, he was a huge fan of Payne Stewart. So there was a lot of full circle moments going on here. But I, I think the biggest thing was the electricity that you could feel at Pinehurst. You heard the chants, USA, USA. This was the U.S. Open. Bryson DeChambeau, incredible performance. And what I was most impressed was not, not just the shot making, not just what he did on 18, but the mental aspect, right? Even when things weren't going right, that first hole, uh, Bryson hits it right into a divot, rebounded from that. The, the 18th uh, hole, he's in, he's in the uh, sand there. He, he has a terrible shot, gets it up and down, does what he needs to do. So mentally, the resilience was there for Bryson DeChambeau, and that's why he's now a two-time U.S. Open champion. Yeah, that's what was so impressive, Curran, is the mental resilience, the fortitude with everything when it seemed yes. to not be going his way. He was able to get it done. Now, we're going to talk about the greatness, but we got to go to the other side here. Rory McIlroy, he had a two-shot lead, Curran, with five holes to play, had another rough defeat in the major here. He bogeyed three of his last four holes. This was a stat that I found astounding in terms of what happened. McElroy, 496 for 496, putting inside three feet this season, but then he missed a three-footer on 16. Question for me, Curran, is very simple. Did Rory choke away a win here at the U.S. Open? Yes, Rory did choke away a win at the U.S. Open, and Bryson had to capitalize on that choke. So there's two parts to it. Now, it's very unfortunate for Rory McIlroy how this tournament ended. And we know that Rory McIlroy, one of the greatest golfers of all time, he has one of the most textbook swings. If you want to teach a young golfer on how to drive the golf ball, look at Rory McIlroy's swing. Incredible golfer. He's been playing his entire life. We know that he won on tour earlier this year. But Rory has not won a major in the last 10 years. And this was a massive opportunity to do so. We knew that Rory was in position. He was surging as the tournament went on. But as we mentioned, those small putts, right? 496 for 496. And then Rory misses the putt on 16 within three feet. Then misses the putt on 18. These are essentially gimme putts that Rory missed. And so there's really no other way to look at it but a choke. And I, and I think that's what Pinehurst, the U.S. Open majors, I think that's what they do to you because the mental aspect that comes in. We keep talking about how physically tough these courses are, right? Dexter, we spoke about the turtleback greens, right? And everything else that, go that goes on with this course. It's so ha hard to keep the ball on the green. You have to be so precise. But it goes further than that because look at what Rory did. He did all those things, and then when he had simple, easy, short putts in front of him, he missed those. He choked. There's no other way to put it. Now, like I said, two sides to that because he could have choked and he could have still won. It was up to Bryson DeChambeau to capitalize on that opening. You just had to give Bryson a little bit of an opening, and he capitalized on it. So, unfortunate day for Rory McIlroy. I'm sure he's going to be back. I'm sure he'll learn from this. Uh, and, and we have to applaud Bryson DeChambeau for taking the opportunity, taking the opening, and making the most of it. Yeah, no, you're right. You have to give him the credit for sure. The opening was there. Rory left the door open. 
DeChambeau walked right through and then closed it when he needed to on 18. Let's go back to DeChambeau for a second because you yeah. mentioned this with his second U.S. Open win. Another thing that I think was very intriguing for him throughout this tournament was that he was battling a hip injury throughout the four days. What do you think this win does for his career, and do you think he can raise his game to another level going forward? I think Bryson DeChambeau has already raised his game to another level. If you look at this performance, like we said, nothing was going right for Bryson DeChambeau. On the first hole, hit it into the divot. On 18, which was a crucial hole, hit it into the sand, had to deal with wire grass, then hit it into a bunker, had to get up and down for a win. He was able to overcome all of that. And, and so many times today, Dexter, we saw Bryson DeChambeau hit his drives far right, had to recover, had to hit some rescue shots. So it wasn't like everything was just flowing, but the mental toughness of Bryson DeChambeau. He had to execute on his game, had to raise his game to another level. And I think he also really fed off of the crowd. And now Bryson puts, Bryson puts himself into rarefied air. Dexter, if you look at what Bryson just did, okay? He's now one of only four golfers to win the U.S. Amateur and win multiple U.S. Opens. And the other names on that list, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what those are. Tiger Woods, Bobby Jones, and Jack Nicklaus. That is golf royalty that now Bryson DeChambeau is now in that rarefied air in terms of what this win gets him. Obviously, the momentum is going to be huge from this. Riding this win is going to be great for Bryson DeChambeau, and you know that physically, mentally, everything was clicking for Bryson DeChambeau. Incredible performance. The other aspect I'll just add real quick, too. We've been talking about Liv and PGN. We know that Bryson jumped over to Liv. He's had two wins on the on the Liv tour as well. But we know that both sides are looking at putting together a merge. And I actually think Bryson could maybe be a, a, a nice way to get these guys together because we know that he's such a fan-friendly player. We know that the fans love this guy. They showed up. They were electric. And so maybe that's a way to help bridge that divide and get the merger finally across the finish line because we, as golf fans, want to see Bryson DeChambeau competing against the best players in the world on both Live and PG, PGA Tour, both sets of players. We want to see that. Um, and we want to see more things like we just saw today. So incredible win for Bryson DeChambeau on Father's Day. The, the emotional component there, uh, we mentioned he lost his father. So all around incredible win for Bryson DeChambeau. And this will help elevate his game even, even further. Absolutely. I agree. It'll help elevate his game. I think a fantastic point with the live and PGA coming together and how a player like him is necessary for the sport. If fans want to see him play against the best in the world and have that personality that he shows out there on the golf course. That is Curran Batia, the host of Ask the Experts with Curran Batia, one of my favorite people to talk golf with. Curran, I appreciate the time. I know you enjoyed the Open, and uh, we will talk again soon. Dexter, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the golf, and happy Father's Day, man. Thank you. Happy Father's Day to you as well, too. Appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much.